Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to my YouTube channel. We here at the channel are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice, and I've been telling the last couple of videos uh, of advice from uh, Eliyahu Lopian, Rabbi Eliyahu Lopian, and uh, with respect to acts of kindness. And um, we're talking about uh, looking for opportunities, um, helping people, and um, an interesting situation is this. I don't know if you've ever encountered it. If people are in need of assistance, you know, they're, they're hurting, they're, they're in need. But others don't take any action to help them. You might find yourself thinking, well, if others aren't helping him, why should I? Is that a proper reaction? This is listen, nobody else is helping him. Like, why should I? I'm the why should I? The question comes to Rabbi Eliyahu Lopian. If someone needs help and is not getting it from others, that in and of itself should motivate you to take action even though it means you must act by yourself. In other words, far from being a deterrent for you to act in a situation, it should be an incentive. The fact that no one else is helping this, whoever this poor person is, should spur you on. You know, whatever it takes, maybe some things are, are, are cured uh, with money. Some things, it needs physical assistance. Something, sometimes it needs whatever it takes. Don't be discouraged or don't be somehow dissuaded by the fact that nobody else is doing it. According to Rabbi Lopian, the fact that nobody else is doing it, that is, those are the spurs that should, you know, get you going. It's because no one's helping him that you should come forward. It's because no one else is stepping up that you have to come forward and do it even if you are the only one, sometimes especially if you're the only one. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.